welcome back to my channel. So today I have such a fun video for you guys. I received the new collection from ColourPop. This is their Hocus Pocus collection and they have a lot of eye products. They do have a lip duo which I used also and I just really love the look that I came up with using this collection. I love the whole Hocus Pocus theme. I actually haven't seen that video in the longest time because I remember when we were younger my sister Jen was like deathly afraid of that movie. She just like hated witches and that movie I think traumatized her so as kids we would like never watch it because I just remember it being like a huge thing in our family that my sister Jen was like so afraid of it and like witches it just made her literally traumatized so I actually really want to watch it again because I haven't seen it in years so I want to rewatch the movie and this collection just totally inspired me because it is adorable and this palette is the beautiful star of the collection and it is so beautiful so I do want to mention that Colourpop did send me this collection just to try out and play with for myself and they are not paying me to say anything good about it they just sent it to me as PR just to kind of try out for you guys so of course my opinions and comments are 100% my own and I will always give you guys the honest truth when I review these products so I just wanted to let that be known to you guys of course so I will show you guys everything in the video and you guys can see my first impressions using the palette and all of the other things from the beautiful collection so if you guys want to see how I got this look using all of the new products from the Hocus Pocus collection then please keep on watching guys so as you can see I have my full face on I just of course do not have any eye makeup I do have some under eye setting powder here because that is going to help catch any fallout from the eyeshadows if we get any so that's definitely what I like to do especially if my foundation and all my makeups are already on my face and I still have to do my eyeshadows so as you can see I do have my eyebrows done I do have a tutorial on my youtube channel where I show you guys how I do my eyebrows so I can link that in the description box for you guys so let's just get right into this video so this is just the little box that it came in and just like look at those details Colourpop always kills it with the little details this is literally just the cardboard mailing box and as you can see the inside has a picture with like the gold and it's just all the little details like that is what makes Colourpop one of my favorite brands so I thought this was so adorable for the season because we are in October and Halloween is soon approaching so I was so excited when I saw this collection online and when I received this whole collection especially this eyeshadow palette here which is so cute like their packaging is just amazing this is just like the little cardboard outside packaging and it is so cute this palette here is called the gather round sisters palette and it is really really beautiful I'm opening it up for you guys on camera so as you can see this is just like the little cover here which is so beautiful and full of detail and then the actual palette itself just looks like this you have like that beautiful kind of copper embossing there and like the cauldron and it's just really really such a cute palette i love the packaging so this is the back of the palette and you can see there's like the little cauldron <laughs> designs then the names of the shadows are on the back as well as inside the palette. And then on the inside, you have all of the beautiful shadows. And then that same picture of the Hocus Pocus witches, which are so cute. I just love this. So as you can see, you are getting 15 beautiful shadows in here. And they are in different formulas. You have your mattes, your metallics. There's some satins in there. I believe this one is a pressed foil or a pressed glitter. It looks really nice and sparkly and there's just such beautiful shades. I love the colors in here. You get your neutrals, you get some nice bronzy shades, you get your nice purpley wine colors, and a really nice taupey silver metallic there, which is so beautiful. There's even some like really nice army green. That's like a matte army green with a metallic one that goes really nicely with it. So you get a ton of options here and it's just a really beautiful palette. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyelids with a ColourPop creme gel color. So this is the ColourPop creme gel shadow in the shade called Bronco and this is just a nude kind of color because I love to use it to prime my eyelids because it adds a really nice clean canvas for the shadows. So this wasn't part of the collection but you can find it on the ColourPop website. So I'm just gonna place some of that on with my fingertips. So there are a lot of beautiful shadows to choose from. There are 15 shadows, so I'm definitely not sure what kind of look I want to do. I know that I just did a kind of cranberry and green look on my channel, my last two eyeshadow looks. So I might go more on the neutral side. 
I do really want to use this glittery shade here which looks gorgeous so there's like a couple ideas I have in mind and there are a lot of nice matte like crease blending shades which is definitely a plus you always need those in every palette so that's great so I think I'm gonna start with this shade over here which is just like a neutral tan matte shade and I'm gonna place that in the crease with the blending brush so that shade is called hello Salem So as you can see, that's a really nice subtle kind of crease shade. It's really nice to blend out other shadows because it's pigmented, but it's also very light. So it's definitely a great crease shade and blending shade. So love that. Next, I think I want to go into this really nice, rich kind of warm matte brown shade here. That one is called On Toast. And I'm going to use this kind of thinner pencil brush. This is a Morphe JH31 brush. And I'm going to deepen up the crease with that shade over there. Okay, so since there are so many pretty shades, I'm gonna use another one from the palette in a crease. I want to use this beautiful one over here called Coven, and it has like subtle kind of glitters in there. I feel like they'll kind of like brush away when you put them on the eyes, cause it is like a matte eyeshadow base. So I'm gonna place that shade with a thinner blending brush. This is a Sigma E25 brush. Okay guys, so as you can see, that shadow did give a little bit more fallout than usual. I find that the shadows in the ColourPop palettes that have a little bit of like the fine glitters in them are a little bit more like of a loose texture. The fully matte ones I find definitely do not have as much fallout. They're very like buttery and smooth, but these ones with a little bit of the glitter in there, like I see Come Little Children and Full Moon, all have like those subtle glitters in them and I feel like they are more on the loose side. They are beautifully pigmented and they blend out really nicely, but that's just something to be aware of if you don't like shadows with a lot of fallout. I would definitely su suggest doing your eyeshadows first just so you can clean it up and you don't have to worry about ruining your makeup. Or of course, doing the trick that I'm doing, the under eye setting powder, that really helps a lot. So I do think that I wanna do a little bit of a cut crease and I'm going to use my favorite concealer for that and this happens to be the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is just their white one in the shade Fair 00. This is honestly like my must for cut crease Pieces. It's just like the best concealer because it's so pigmented, but it is also like kind of like a fluid, looser consistency. So it's easy to blend and it doesn't get cakey. So definitely if you guys love cut creases, if you want to do them or get better at them, then you should definitely use a ColourPop concealer because they are the best for cut creases especially. So I'm just going to place the cut crease more towards the inner corner of the eye and I'm going to use this ColourPop brush. This is their E4 brush that I love to use for cut creases specifically because it's really nice and big and flat. So I'm just gonna place a bit of that white concealer onto that brush and create a little bit of a cut crease on the inner corner. Okay, so I'm really drawn to these two shades in this palette, this beautiful pressed glitter here. That one is called Brew Potion. This beautiful taupey metallic silver shade here called Wench. I really love those two shades specifically. They're just really gorgeous. And I do think I wanna use them on my eyes. So I think I'm gonna go with the silvery shade over here on the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm gonna place this golden, beautiful, metallic -y, glittery shade here on the outer corner, kind of like in the middle there. So I'm gonna kind of like blend the two into each other. But before I go in with those two shadows, I'm gonna go in first with this NYX glitter primer. I always use this when I do any kind of like sparkly or metallic shadow because it really does make the shadow last all day and really kind of pop. So I'm gonna place that all over my lid where I have that cut crease concealer there defined. And then I'm gonna go in with those two beautiful shades that I just showed you guys.
Okay, so as you can see, I did wipe away that fallout that we had, that under eye setting powder really did wonders because I did have some fallout, so that really did the trick. As you can see, it looks as good as new under my eyes. And I really, really am obsessed with those two shades that I used on the lid there. As you guys saw, like that silvery, like taupey shade is just so pigmented and beautiful. And then that glitter is just like really amazing. It is so pigmented and I just love the way those two shadows just kind of like blend together. And it's kind of like that like silvery look blended in with the gold. Then you have like the warm and matte brown in the crease and on the outer corners. And I just love the way it looks. I'm so happy with the palette so far. So there are a couple more eye products part of this collection that I want to show you guys and hopefully use. And so there are two glitterly obsessed body glitters that came with this collection. So they're really adorable. As you can see, the packaging has like a little black cat on there and they're just really cool. So the one shade here is called Amok, 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 Amok. And I'll show you guys the packaging. You can see it has like the black cat. So this one over here is like a fuchsia multi glitter with a bunch of really beautiful glitters blended in. There's like blue, purple, it's just like a lot of glitters and it's so pretty. I love these body glitters because they honestly are so easy to use. They stay on all day, they will dry to a nice matte finish and you just get all that beautiful gorgeous glitter. And then the next one is my favorite of course because I love anything like golden and this one here is called Another Glorious Morning and it is like the perfect kind of like pumpkin-y yellow golden shade. It is so pretty. There's like some orange in there. There's some like yellow. It's like almost like a melony pumpkin shade and it is so pretty. I love this one. So I definitely want to use a little bit of this where we place that glitter. I'm just going to place some on top of that glitter just to kind of really make it pop even more. So we'll see how that looks. I really love this shade in particular. It is just like gorgeous. Using this Morphe JH41 little flat brush here, I'm going to dip into that gorgeous body glitter here and we're gonna place some just where we have the gold. So not going on the inner corner, but just on the middle there, just to kind of further make it pop. Well, guys I am like obsessed with that glitter I'm so happy that I decided to use it because I just think it took this look to the next level because the other glitter was gorgeous of course but it was a bit more subdued whereas this glitterly obsessed body glitter I just love like the yellow almost like melon tones in it I think it really just made this eye look pop so nicely I definitely love those glitters they're so easy to use they're just kind of like foolproof so love that shade in particular that has to be my favorite and I'm probably gonna use it all the time so they also released three new shades part of their creme gel liner collection for this collection and i love their creme gel liner formula honestly i think they are one of the best on the market if you're looking at high end low end they are just amazing and the price cannot be beat for these guys they are so good they're so pigmented they last all day in the water line and i just love them so i was really excited when i saw three new shades then you have sistas which is like a nice deep rich red shade and then you have black flame candle which is a beautiful deep rich forest green and then you have trick or treat which is like a purpley plum so those are the three shades and i actually did not know that they would be metallic so all three of them are metallic creme gel liners which is really cool and i love the shades they're definitely very fitting for the collection so in the waterline i think i'm going to use this purpley metallic shade this one was called trick or treat and i'm going to place that on the waterline really love that metallic shade as you can see it is so pigmented these creme gel liners just like glide on the waterline they last all day long they are just so pigmented so now for the lower lash line I'm gonna go in with this Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm gonna go back into that nice matte rich kind of warm brown shade called on toast and I'm just gonna blend that all on the lower lash line Okay, so ColourPop also released a new pair of lashes, part of this collection. So these are their faux lashes called a Boss Witch, and they are really beautiful because they kind of like go a little bit thicker towards the outer corners. So they give you that like wispy look, and I think they're really pretty. So I am going to wear them today and try them out. But before that, I'm going to just place some black mascara on my top and bottom lashes, and then I'm going to just pop on these lashes.
Okay guys, so I really love those lashes. They're actually really nice and they give like that nice wispy look with like the outer edges being a little bit thicker and they're super comfortable to wear. So I absolutely love them. They're really easy to put on. I just used the House of Lashes lash glue for that. The clear transparent brush tip one. And I really, really love this eye look. I love all the products I used. And as you can see, this collection was mainly eye based. They do have, I believe just one lipstick kind of combo here that I'm gonna show you guys. And that is this lip duo over here. This one is called I Put a Spell on You and it is actually like a red lip liner and lipstick kind of duo. So that's really cool. I do have a nude lip going on here that I can show you guys what I used. It was actually ColourPop as well. For this nude lip look, I used the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Minuteman with their Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Lesson Learned. So those are the two products that I'm wearing on my lips right now. I do prefer a nude lip of sorts with this eye look just because it is a little bit more dramatic, but I am going to show you guys this option here from the collection. So I do want to wear it as well because Red Lips is super popular with the Hocus Pocus collection because they did give us a nice red lip option here so this is the lipstick and this is the lippy pencil so the lippy pencil by itself is called come we fly and it's a really nice deep burgundy red and then you have this beautiful lipstick here this one over here is called Winnie and it is in their crumb formula so it's super pretty and as you can see there's like a little spider embossing in the lipstick so I'm just gonna show you guys the red lip option with the two products that are part of the collection Okay, so going in with this lip liner first, I'm gonna line my lips. And I love the ColourPop lip liners. They're also one of my favorite formulas. They're just so pigmented and I'm just obsessed with them. And if you guys are familiar with my videos, you know that I love lip liner and I never skip on using lip liner, so super important to me. So I'm just kind of roughly outlining it. I'm not gonna fill it in all the way because I am going to go in with this beautiful lipstick. And this is again in their creme formula. This lipstick is really beautiful and the formula is so creamy. It just like melts into your lips and it feels super light but it's also super pigmented and really creamy. And that color is just like a gorgeous, like true rich red. So I'm not mad at this shade over here. So whenever I wear red lips, I usually like to use a lip stain just cause I feel like it always gets on my teeth. So if you are using a lipstick, just make sure that you kind of pat the inside of your mouth. I like to use like a little Kleenex or something. Just like that because you will make sure that you won't get any red lipstick on your teeth so their lipstick formula is like super luxe and it just feels really luxurious and i love the way this red actually looks i was kind of more into the nude before i tried this red but now that i see the red on my lips i actually think it looks really nice so i would like to know what you guys like better if you like the nude lip or the red lip i'm actually really feeling this red with the eyes just because it's like more of a neutral toned eye because i feel like if i wear red lips i definitely want to have my eyes more on the neutral side and a soft side and even though this eyeshadow look is not really soft, it is neutral, so it definitely goes together. So as you guys saw, this collection was mainly a lot of eye products. They did have that little lip combo over there. I think the quality of everything is amazing, from the packaging to just everything, the quality of the shadows. I love the glitterly obsessed body glitters. That melon gold glitter that we used in the middle of the eye there was just so beautiful. The palette is like stunning. I actually love all the colors. They give you so many options. It's so versatile. I'm in love with the packaging but even more so I'm in love with the shadows on the inside I just love how you get like your purpley plums you get like your neutrals you get your taupey more like cool toned ones then that you get the warm ones with that beautiful pressed glitter you also are getting like the green in there there's even like a nice black it's like a matte kind of black with a little bit of glitters and I just think that this is such a versatile palette if you guys don't even like Halloween or Hocus Pocus I just think that these shadows are worth it on its own because you are getting 15 beautiful shadows here and they're amazing honestly guys the quality is beautiful they even give you like this really nice kind of cream shade with like subtle glitters inside just think that this is like one of the most versatile palettes it's really beautiful i'm obsessed with it i just think it's like the perfect kind of like ode to halloween while still being really wearable and like not too dark or gloomy it's just a really really beautiful color selection and they did an amazing job so i have to give it to them for that the creme gel liners are one of my favorites I like kind of the metallic touch and it actually 
really showed in the waterline. So I love that purple that we used and the other shades are also really beautiful. I'm also really surprised that I love those lashes so much because looking at them, they didn't seem like anything really crazy or special, but putting them on the eyes, they actually just add the perfect kind of thickness and length and they just really look almost like natural, but like still glam at the same time. So I love those lashes. They're super comfortable to wear, which is really important, especially if you're not like a lash wearer and you don't like those like really heavy thick ones, you will love these ones because I just think they are so glam and beautiful. So love those lashes. I literally don't really have anything bad to say about this collection. I think it's adorable. Hocus Pocus is such a cute Halloween movie and I just love how this collection is based on that. I'd love to know what you guys think, if you guys picked anything up from this collection and what your favorite products are from this collection. Please let me know. Also let me know what lip you guys liked more. I'm feeling these red lips. They go with my nails actually, which is nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because that does help me so much. It really does help my channel grow and for my videos to get out there more so I can keep creating content for you guys, which is what I love to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Come in. <laughs> Look who brought me a coffee. My brother-in-law. Ah, he got me, I think, a pumpkin spice latte. That's so sweet. Nikita is my sister Lisa's boyfriend. You can see him in a lot of our vlogs. Lisa films a lot of vlogs, so you can see us all together. And he just brought me a coffee. That's so sweet. And I do believe it's pumpkin spice, which is very fitting for this Halloween-inspired video.